Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bogey Time, and today we got the Marlboro Blend number 27s. Um, I've had these a couple times, and uh, I really enjoyed these. Uh, so, the cigarette pack looks pretty cool. Uh, it's like a bronze, it kind of looks like a penny type, like copper or something. All along here, you got a cool little design on the back that says 27. Um, this was 75 cents off. I, I got a promotion or whatever, but that's only eligible for smokers over 21. Um, so, uh, yeah. Taking a cigarette out of the pack. As you can see, pretty standard looking cigarette. There's a gold band right past the filter and then it says, it doesn't say Marlboro, it says number 27 or no 27. Um, very long filter, like extremely long filter. I'm just realizing that now. The, this paper is actually really short. So uh, yeah, these are chain smoking for me. I have, I had, as you can see, oh, I got new ashtray. My friend gave me this. As you can see, I had a couple this morning. It's still early in the morning. It's like, I think it's like 12, I think. But uh, whatever. Okay, so on dry pop. It has like a bit of sweetness to it, not too intense like some other cigarettes. Um, smells very sweet, a bit like maple syrup, raisins, and like just fresh, nice, rich tobacco. Alright, so let's give this a light. By the way, it is so hot out. You, you don't under, even understand, like, I'm, I feel like I'm about to start sweating if I, if I, when I start this. This is, that helicopter better shut up, um, this is the type of day where I would smoke a whole pack of menthols, because today, I mean, wearing a black shirt isn't helping in the slightest, but... Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Um... It has a little bit of a sweetness to it, but it typically has your typical tobacco taste. Uh, almost reminds me of Marlboro Red, but less strong. Um, it also reminds me of the Marlboro Red Special Blend. Uh, those were really nice. Um, I really enjoyed those. Again, I don't really like Marlboro Reds. They're a little too strong and I don't like the taste. But the Special Blends and these have very similar tastes and it's really good. Very nice flavor to it. Um, let's check the body. Oh, I forgot to ch check the lines for perforation of perforation. There are no lines of perforation on this, so uh, it goes down very smooth. Though I, I figure, if there were lines of perforation. Um, it would be even less dense and like less, or like even more smooth. But uh, this is like the smoothest you can get. I feel no irritation with my throat in the slightest. It even says smooth, rich, and mellow. It's very smooth, tastes very rich, and it's, it's very mellow. It's, it's almost like this one is just repackaged like it, it's a better version of a Marlboro Gold or something. This is a Marlboro bl Bronze. Despite how short it is, I, I don't think it's burning too quickly. Probably because I packed the shit out of them. Oh, I keep forgetting. I can just use this ashtray to flick my ashes.
Very smooth. Um, Sorry, I'm so quiet. It's because there's not much to say about this. It's just very smooth. Very nice taste coming off of this. A uh, bit of sweetness. Nothing too extreme, though. It has a bit of a, of a robust aftertaste. Like, it's a little sweet, but I can tell that this is, like, pure, pure tobacco. The pack definitely sticks out a lot on the shelves. Um, I was actually considering getting the Southern blend, or the Southern cut, but they didn't have them, so I just decided to get these. I'll just keep these, this right here. My day is ruined. Um, no, but, um, again, I keep repeating this, but there's a very nice taste coming off of these. Um, it definitely reminds me of, of a Marlboro Red, but, uh, less of a gritty taste, a lot more smooth than a Marlboro Red, because if you smoke those too fast or one after another, it just gets irritating after a while. This is, like, this is my, like, third one of the morning, and, um, no irritation so far, very nice. I don't know if you can hear that, but people are doing lawn work. Um, a little annoying, I'm trying to do a review here. Even when I get towards the end, there's no irritation, which is great. As opposed to the L&M Bolds, uh, the, the Bold Menthols, um, those, like, when you got towards the very end like this, you got a bit of a harshness with the throat, um, but uh, no, no, no irritation or no grittiness whatsoever, very, very smooth. Would I buy this again? Absolutely. Um, my next pack might actually be uh, one, either these or the Southern Cuts, because uh, very nice, very nice. There was a bee right next to my leg. Alright, uh... Okay, yeah, um, I would give that Eight and a half out of ten. Now, actually, nine out of ten. These are these are very nice, very nice. Um, I'll even go nine and a half. There's, the only the only thing is that it does dry your throat a little bit. There's no grittiness to it, but I definitely need something to drink now. Um, if it didn't dry up my throat that bad, um, it'd definitely be a ten out of ten. This is one of my favorite cigarettes. Um, but uh, yeah, that's been my review, 9.5 out of 10. If you like a full flavor, but uh, you don't like it so harsh, uh, definitely try these out. Um, so yeah, 9.5 out of, out of 10 for the Marlboro 27s. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next bogey time. Goodbye.